Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday the 15th of the December 2020. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar and then let's make some technical analysis. What do we have in the calendar today? As you can see, uh, we got some um, data that been already published like a monetary policy, policy uh, meeting minutes uh, from uh, Australia of course and we got data from uh, China fixed asset investment and industrial production retail sales and unemployment rate very interesting data and uh, one of this uh, most important uh, thing in this set of data is uh, unemployment rate which is lower than the previous month from 5.3 percent to 5.2 percent uh, despite the uh, overwhelming uh, pandemic uh, effects on the uh, Chinese uh, economy, we have an uh, unemployment rate lower. The retail sales are uh, lower as well, but better than in November. Uh, they rise from 4.3% to 5.5%. Uh, 5%. So uh, that's not that bad. And overall, the, the uh, Chinese economy, according to this data, are getting quite well from a post-pandemic shock. And what... Uh, what else we got uh, for today? We got uh, data from um, uh, United Kingdom, climate count change and uh, count rate together with average earning uh, index, right? So we got the uh, count change up to 64,000 uh, people. We got a uh, rate low, uh, I mean, uh, lower than they expected, of course, because it's 4.9% and the expected was uh, 5.1, but uh, higher than in the October from, uh, uh, because the, in the October we got a 4.8%, so now it's 4.9, so it's 0.1% higher. The good news is that the average in, uh, earnings index uh, has increased significantly because it, it, it jumped from 1.4% to 2.7%, which was better than the forecast of 2.2%. So that's very nice. And I think we should take a look at the British pound uh, to the American dollar and euro to the British pound as well. We got some uh, data from uh, uh, France and, uh, and uh, Italy later. Uh, we got uh, during the uh, during the New York session. We got data from uh, from uh, Canada as well. But I'm looking for something uh, useful for us. Uh, industrial production and capacity uh, utilization uh, quarter past five, uh, quarter past three. Uh, from the United States, nice uh, bunch of data, but they might not have that much impact on the markets. And we got some speech um, from the uh, governor, uh, new governor, Thief Macam uh, of Bank of Canada. He will deliver a speech at half past eight. So I think we should take a look at the Canadian dollar. I think I should, we should take a look at the pound and, uh, and the euro to the British pound. So let's just start with the Canadian dollar. Uh, USD cat. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, as you remember, this th this is still uh, the downtrend, uh, and this new local low. Let me just point it out. This local low made here just uh, last week. Uh, it's not very good news for the uh, for the bulls because this low is way below the the historical low from 2018 so right now we are keep digging 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 this hole lower and lower right now we hit the level of uh the lowest 1.2706 which is not good for the for the uh bulls we keep digging uh, lower and lower and uh, right now uh, we are already in the extremely oversold market conditions but there is no sign of any kind of a bounce as you can see uh, all of this local short-term corrections were very very shallow and for now uh, we need to break above 1.2830 to be uh, to make some kind of a better than average uh, better than average uh, bounce so this might be kind of a tricky for the for the bulls right now and even if they will break above 1.2830, the next target is 1.2928. So this is the serious technical resistance here. So right now, USD cat still going lower, still going lower, and it it looks even worse on the on the weekly time frame chart. So all of you uh, who are trading this this pair, please remember the downtrend continues on this on this uh, pair. Uh, British pound to the American dollar. I think we should take a look at this because we got some data from a, 
uh, from the uh, UK today. Uh, let me just adjust this uh, this channel. There you go. So what was uh, what was going on on the on the British British pound here? As you can see, uh, not much uh, basically has changed uh, since the last week. Uh, we are still trading inside of this of this channel, but please remember this is corrective channel. It it's because we got this overlapping waves, right? We got the the uh, wave up and then wave down, wave up and overlapping wave down, wave up an overlapping wave uh, wave down so this is clearly corrective in nature and as as we go up towards 1.4 uh, 34.86 somewhere there uh, the bearish side of the market is getting much more active and it's pushing the price lower as you can see we got this uh, upper shadows the long upper shadows so we got the supply side being active every time the the bounce higher is being uh, being attempted by the bulls so there you go we got this high uh, which is the highest high this is lower high this is lower high and let me just uh, make another another example there you go this is the last uh, lower high so as long as we trade up uh, below 1.3445 the outlook is still uh, bearish right we tried to break lower but the the, the lower uh, boundary of the channel uh, the slower channel line has saved the day for the uh, uh, for the bulls and we got some bounce but please remember this was already at 46 points on the RSI so there was a significant pressure significant momentum from the from the supply side to break below this um, uh, below this trend line and and as as low as it's possible uh, in inside of this channel so if they were uh, try to to do it again basically we can see a new low below this this candlestick low which was at 1.3134 so we are heading towards 1.3 on the british pound if this bearish bearish kind of a pressure as you can see here will intensify okay euro gbp what is going on there beautiful beautiful candlestick here look at this um this is not what i was trying to do i was trying to move this um uh, blue arrow this candlestick is a pure uh, technical signal this is of course a uh, reversal signal right so this this chart is telling us that every time uh, the bulls are trying to uh, rally above one point uh, above 9200 pips then we have one big smash and they are capped and this is big 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 uh, it leaves big 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 shadow on the daily time frame uh, candle so with this uh, okay we will leave it here uh, with this candle we have a indication of a possible uh down move resumption as you can see here we got this rally and then of course for many 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 days we got this move lower now we got this rally again this is our uh, our trigger and then it looks like we are going to have another another wave down of course as long as we trade inside of this range uh, 9,291 swing high, uh, 8,865 swing low. Nothing much can be done in this in this market. We need to break out either in um, in either direction, up or down, to uh, start some kind of a trend, some kind of a uh, better movement, uh, up or down. So everything what is inside of this of this range is is just a just a battle between bulls and bears, and there is no real uh, direction on this market. So it's a horizontal trend basically uh, but even inside of this horizontal trend we can we can have some nice uh, nice uh, setups as you can see here this is a good setup telling us that something is going on from the bears uh, from the bear side from the supply side and we are possibly going lower looking at the level of 0.9000 um, as the first target and then uh, 8951 second possibly we will even hit the the key uh, technical support 8885 uh, so this is the situation on the 
uh, on the uh, British pound. Let's just take a look at something that we didn't do uh, for a long time. This is a DAX. This is a DAX. Um, uh, there you go. This is a DAX. Index, the German index DAX. What do we have here? Um, I would like to point out the situation on the around the level of thirteen thousand four hundred and sixty because uh, the the markets tried to um, tried to hit it many times already, and we still do not have any kind of a um, clear trigger around uh, around this uh, this level because. Uh, this is kind of a dodgy candle here. This is kind of a dodgy candle here, and this is like a shooting star. So we have a three different candles around this level, as you can see. But uh, there is still no real pressure lower. Um, let me just adjust this line. No real pressure lower because the technical support, which is at twelve thousand eight hundred eighty-three, has not been uh, um, violated yet. We still have a gap to cover here and two levels of technical support 12535 12336 okay so we the bulls tried to rally they were capped three times but the bears are not going to punish the bears as hard as they should they are still you know waiting for the better opportunity it looks like because between these two levels, as you can see, uh, I have marked them in a red horizontal line, 13,312 and uh, 13,460. This is the zone. We might even um, we might even make some kind of a uh, kind of a uh, rectangle here to be more uh, more visible. Uh, this zone, of course, uh, is a very very important zone for the. Uh, for the best so they cannot lose it right so every time we go there we are being we are being punished by the by the best and market starts to make upper shadows dodgy or, or shooting star uh, candles and then we have a breakout but as you can see the the bulls are not giving up right they are still pushing 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 to break through this the zone but the momentum is getting lower already we hit 50 percent uh sorry 50 points on the rsi so the neutral level has been hit during this this uh move down if we break below low of this candle so this is 13,000 basically if we break below the 13,000, then the real sell-off might might uh, start and the uh, bears will target this free technical support uh, technical support uh levels uh we can of course uh According to this data, uh, make some uh, Fibonacci retracement, and as you can see, we got another another three lines, another three zones here for the uh, for the Fibonacci to be hit uh, as well. So it looks pretty uh, pretty much uh, nice uh, to see this kind of a setup because we have a clearly defined risk here because this is the red zone, and then the potential for the shorts is is really 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 really. Uh, attractive for traders so i will leave you with this uh, with this uh, simple analysis so uh, thank you very much for watching uh, today's video and i hope i see you guys uh, tomorrow for another um, uh, analysis uh, with new setups and new uh, forex pass so thank you very much for watching see you guys tomorrow bye bye